Hi there. Welcome back to San Lano Soundwaves, week two, day eight. I'm Camden Robinette, and today I'm going to be reading Genesis chapter two, verses one through three. Let's get into it. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. All right, so for this passage, let's take a look at our seven arrows, or seven questions. What does this passage say? What did this passage mean to its original audience? What does this passage tell us about God? What does this passage tell us about people? What does this passage demand of me? How does this passage change the way I relate to people? And what does this passage prompt me to pray to God? So, rest is the final stage in God's work of creation. But God's rest is different from our rest. We experience a long, frustrating day at school, and we end up crashing on the couch as soon as we get home because our energy is depleted and we definitely need to recharge. <laughs> but God is all-powerful. He doesn't run out of energy or hit a wall like we do. Yet he rests and establishes a pattern for his people to follow. When we rest, it shows that we are dependent on God's creative power to live. Apart from God's supplying us with energy, we can't do anything. When we get tired, God graciously gives us rest and teaches us to depend on him. That's why he established a day of rest, the Sabbath, in which people are to cease their work and rest in God's goodness and care. Today, believers continue to learn to depend on God through rest, which then enables us to reflect his image as well. Thank you for listening. I'll see you tomorrow.